हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम योर स्पार्क स्टेनोग्राफर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर यू आर शॉर्ट एंड डिक्टेशन फ्रॉम कैलाश चंद्र मैगजीन वॉल्यूम ट्वेंटी थर्ड एंड द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन नंबर फोर हंड्रेड नाइंटी थ्री सो गाइज इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो देन सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड ऑल्सो ज्वाइन मी ऑन व्हाट्सएप द लिंक इज इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स and you have any query you can ask me on where it's a comment box so ready for the dictation 10 second 5 second start mr chairman the resolution under discussion raises a very important matter which merits careful consideration on the part of honorable members of this house and of the government questions will be asked and have been asked as to where is the necessity of nationalizing commercial banks what is wrong with our banks today banks accept deposits from the poor as well as the rich they support the enrich the economic activities of the nation and what is wrong with them some time ago there was a series of bank failures in west bengal culminating in the failure of the lakshmi bank and the birla bank maybe when such things occur doubts arise in our minds as to whether the ordinary peep man who deposit in the banks in really safe whether we have sufficient guarantees or the safe working of the banking system but then the answer is that we have tightened the provisions of the banking companies act and given more and more control to the reserve bank and therefore the reserve bank is in a position today not only to insist upon all sorts of safeguards for the flotation of banks but also for the conducting of banks it has the powers of supervision control and direction and therefore as the honorable members were saying banking today is thus far safer than it is ever was so where is the need for nationalization sir in order to answer this question one has to probe a little deeper and examine the function of banking it is not a question of public sector or private sector it is not a question of relating banking to private industry we have to look at this question from the point of view of the goal we have adopted our goal is the creation of socialist society this we adopted some 7 or 8 years ago and i am amazed to see that not a single step has been taken which is calculated to lead us to that goal one important factor which helped to take us towards that goal is the removal of inequalities of wealth this is a goal to which possibly no honorable member can have any exception if we have to remove inequalities of wealth when we have to remove the opportunities which create concentration of wealth now i wish to show that these commercial banks to have in concentration of health now we have to really root out all challenges of a man unlawfully and reaching himself by this position of the strait of money by the position of the strength of influence that he commands in the society he is able to exploit others and create a position of wealth for himself now in case of opportunities the banks have a very great place sir if we have to realize the important place that banks have in our society today and the vital role that they are playing in our economy we have to probe as i was saying a little before 
a little deeper how do they work i am an agriculturist i grow cotton and bring it to the market in the market there are two or three buyers and they are rich people any number of people are willing to buy but they have no money to buy that these two or three persons have influence with the banks they get any account of loan from the banks or overdraft others cannot have that opportunity these two or three person will corner the produce in the market they do not demand it when there is a lot of produce and they make the produce rot in the market until at last the peasant is tried out and then they will dictate the price in in spite of government's regulated market they will have to sell at the price dictated by these two or three purchasers i have this experience myself we started a cooperative society the consumers and producers cooperative society of which i was the president it was not just to counteract this that i started it because mine is a cotton growing area we have only two cotton purchasers in the entire cotton area they are playing havoc with the cotton producers but what are the resources how can a cooperative society rise in a funds to buy one day's produce and one day supply in the market no banks lend me because i have no security to offer and i have no influence with them these two people can do anything with the market and this is going on today in spite of our regulations what i say with regard to cotton applies with regard to oil seeds it applies with regard to every commodity that comes to the market now this has an indirect effect i am able to corner the oil seeds today because i can export them with the help of my money and then i am indirectly raising the price of oil seeds at home so every man will have to pay a higher price